Hi guys, what's going on? I got another little review video here for you for the uh, computer program. This is for uh, Windows. Uh, it's uh, Wonderfox DVD Video Converter Pro. Basically what this is, is I did a review on their Converter Pro, uh, their last version, and their DVD ripping software. This is a combination of both softwares, so the link will be in the description below uh, if you care to try out their uh, program. I'll have a personal link to my executable file that I'm using here as well as the link to directly to the web page. I don't own any rights to this uh, program. It's all WonderFox Incorporated uh, and uh, so let's just dive on into this. So I'm just going to open up the program after you've installed it with this little executable file here. So allow that to open up. You'll see WonderFox DVD Video Converter. And voila. So here we are at the main menu. So main menu, first and foremost, is uh, you're just going to be looking at your tools here. Uh, you can add files, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, you can add a file to here and uh, choose to convert it. And how you output it is basically by this on the right-hand side. So what you got here is you have your video, your HD 4K. So let's select video for now. Uh, and you'll see AVI, MP4, MKV, any files that you add to this, you can export them and convert them to any of these video files as well as any of these HD files. Uh, you cannot upscale graphics, just to let you know, because uh, that just doesn't work at all with any program. Uh, so if you're trying to find something to upscale your graphics on a video you currently already have, it's not going to work. You can, however, convert an HD down to a regular standard uh, video file and uh, render it that way. The other thing you can do is you can convert them to web videos which you really don't have to do per se because for an example these YouTube ones uh, are complete, well, I want to say completely useless uh, probably for upload speeds it would be better um, but you could convert to certain web videos that you want to use. Uh, like this is uh, Flash Video, this is Flash 4 Video, uh, this is uh, MP4 for YouTube or Vimeo, MP4 for Facebook, Yahoo. Basically, this is just saying like these are the compatible videos with these websites. Uh, but YouTube, for an example, you can just drag and drop any video you want to upload and it will upload that file. You can also convert videos to audio. For an example, if you've downloaded a music video off of YouTube or something, uh, you can convert the video to audio and then you can also edit the length of that audio as well uh, so if you want to if you can't find an mp3 somewhere that you want you can convert that video into an mp3 file or an ac3 and etc with all of these files selected other than that you can also if you're confused on what to choose you can convert videos to certain files uh, sp pertaining to certain devices and which would work best for them. We have all the Apple devices here listed, Samsung devices we have listed, Microsoft devices, which is, you know, usually standard uh, MP4 is what you're looking for. Same thing with Google here. Any kind of mobile device is usually MP4 conversion, which most of the videos are in MP4 format. If not, they're going to be AVI and you will have to convert them to MP4. Uh, and etc. So you can select whatever you want from here. Now the other segment of this program is download uh, download a video. Now what you can do is you can add the URL right here of the video you want to download and uh, you can uh, analyze it. Once it's analyzed and figures out where the HTML video is, it will down. You can download that video and you can select where to save that. Uh, the generic folder is users uh, and then your user documents and WonderFox software, WonderFox DVD video. That will be in the folder. And uh, it'll download directly to that folder. And then after you do that, you can add the files here uh, if you wish and convert them to whatever you want them to convert to. This is not what I wanted. Um, and then the other thing, last but not least, is to load a DVD. Now, you can load a DVD or you can load an ISO. For an example, an ISO is a disk image file. What that is, is basically you can just load up the disk image file. And uh, if you open up a DVD ISO, you're going to see a video TS and an audio TS folder. This will 
uh, just basically decrypt that and find the main video file and you can rip that video file out of the ISO generically on your HDD. The other thing you can do is, uh, I don't have a disk drive in this computer at the moment, but if you wish, you could put a DVD in to the disk drive and you can load the DVD folder, which is um, your DVD drive. And uh, if you go here and select that, it will open it up. And then instead of selecting this PC, I would select the disk drive and it would load the DVD. Once it's loaded the DVD again, it will select the main um, video file automatically. Usually it picks the biggest file and then you can just run and it will go to your documents WonderFox software, DVD converting software uh, folder, your output folder again in that generic path. And that pretty much is it. I'm not going to be sitting here doing any of the conversions or stuff just simply because uh, it's going to take too long. And I had to reload my computer so I don't have any files or anything to do this with. Um, actually, you know what? I can just go ahead and show. Hey, look at that. Uh, let's go to the old YouTube here. And uh, let's go to my videos. Well, I guess I could go to my channel. Why not? And I'll select this video here. <laughs> No, I don't want to play nothing. All right, so for an example, I'll just take this URL here and copy that. Now let's go down here and I'll say download video and I'll select this and paste that there and analyze. And just allow that to do its thing. So this is basically analyzing what video is posted to this HTML specifically or URL whatever you want to call it um, and you will see that it comes up here and recommended download 640 by 360 now you can also change that to um, a higher definition if you choose so um, you can select mp4 I'll just select this mp4 here and uh, 854 by 480 so that's 480 definition um, can we go higher? No. So this is 480i uh, definition that I can download. And uh, we'll just say download that. And there you go. So now it's downloading the video there. So it does work. And I'm just going to cancel this uh, just because I don't need it because it's my own video. But there's a little demo on the download there. And then again, you can convert that video to whatever you need to convert it to. So, that's pretty much it. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this little program. If you like it, you're more than welcome to purchase it from WonderFox LLC. Again, the link for the executable will be down below, as well as the direct link to their website, uh, where you can check out more of their software. And uh, the DVD ripping software is pretty good, because uh, I've used it in the past. And uh, I have no complaints. So, all in all, this is a pretty good program. It's very simple to easy to use. Uh, aside from watching this video, you can kind of just poke around with it. And I guess they have a ringtone studio, too, which is pretty exciting. So, uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the program. And if you like it, go ahead and purchase it from WarnerFox LLC. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon.